welcome back. I'm Lex Levy and this is Ancient Odyssey. In today's episode, I will take you along with on our expedition to the Giza Plateau to investigate the new and controversial project at the Pyramid of Menkara, which is to retrieve and restore the red granite casing stones and which is led by the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Mustafa Waziri. Waziri dubbed this to be Egypt's gift to the world and the project of the century. But I want to know your opinion, so please leave a comment in the section below. Our expedition does not stop there though, because we explore the Eastern Temple of the Pyramid of Menkara. Then we walk through the desert to discover a marvelous and hidden crystal temple. To conclude our trip, we hike to the Forbidden Pyramid of Kent Kauais and obtain rare footage from inside the perplexing structure, which some believe to be a second sphinx. Before I begin, I have an important announcement to make. I've been given the great honor of becoming a team member of the ACIDA project. I want to say that I'm grateful for all the tremendous research that the ACIDA project has done, and I'm excited to be a part of the team. You can anticipate more research-heavy videos in the near future. Now, let's take a trip to the Giza Plateau and I will show you the route of our expedition. Here we go. These are the pyramids of Giza. This is the Great Pyramid, Central Pyramid, the Third Pyramid, or the Pyramid of Menkara. We began our journey on the northern side of Menkara then, we explored the Eastern Temple here. Next, we went inside the Northern Passage and explored inside the Pyramid. Then, we walked the Western face of the Pyramid, past G3C, where we found a basin here. And we walked further towards what appeared to be an obelisk. Then, we walked past G3A, G3B, and G3C satellite pyramids towards an interesting calcite crystal structure here. Then, as the sun was setting, we hiked through the desert all the way towards the Forbidden Pyramid of Kenkau. to the Giza Plateau today to investigate and get first-hand documentation of the current reconstruction of the Pyramid of Menkara. And you heard that correctly. There is an ongoing project. Well, first and foremost, let me say, it's Friday here in Egypt, and it was an absolute madhouse trying to get up here onto the Giza Plateau. So if you want to see what it's like to come up to the Giza Plateau on Friday, which is like the Egyptian local off day, it's like Saturday, but they do Friday. If you want to see what that's like, go check out my wife Alexa's channel, Ancient Odysseys, and she has footage of our 
adventure to get up to the Giza Plateau today. And so here, Pyramid of Mankara. And the new director of the Ministry of Antiquities has started a project to reassemble the layer of granite casing stones, some of which are still in place. And I can already see that they've gotten some of them put back up. Again, I'm going to do my best to leave my personal opinion about this project out of the video, but you'll be able to see the work that they have done thus far. So this is a huge project and a huge issue here in Egypt and in the archaeological community. And another Land of Ten exclusive because this will be the first channel to get documentation of this project. So we're going to go take a look. And we'll be right back. time all around the exterior of the pyramid of Mankara. And you can see here that they've moved them from the piles over here. And I'll try to get a picture of the massive crane. They had a crane set up out here. And I'll show you that there was an excavation. Not necessarily an excavation, but they had to dig all of the sand around the exterior casing stones to get down to the bedrock. As you can see that these casing stones are going to be put back in place. There's already one that I've seen. We've seen evidence of stuff that they've already put back in place. Uh, so they've already covered up the water. Okay. 
a huge pit over here that's it, that's it, that's to get down it. to the bedrock so that they could sit a crane over that's here to be able to lift the stones that. back that. into place. So the project is an ongoing three-year project to replace the casing stones onto the exterior of the Pyramid of Bankara. Again, you can see the, the line of stones over here that have been moved and put back on. Those, those weren't here a month or so ago. And you can see as we walk around the exterior of the structure, there's, there's, there's red granite casing stones that were taken off of the structure during the ancient time. And that's when they excavated this hole into the top there was an ancient project to try to disassemble the pyramid of menkara and now the project is to put the stones back in place okay yeah, yeah. So that you can see where it, it certainly appears that they've already started to re... Well, I don't even want to say reassemble. They've put them back up on the side. I'm <laughs> late. <laughs> so again, here are just some examples of the red granite. These are all fragments, and it looks like they're going to take the... Welcome to Alaska. Most complete piece of the camel. Of the camel. guys keep saying camel, so I have camels in my brain. The people of the casing stones. The biggest, most complete pieces. And they had some really good examples that I just showed as we were walking up for construction. And I want to check, because I've... I've produced many videos from this side of the Pyramid of Mentara. And I'm curious, the little blonde hair. Yeah. See all these stones that are piled up here? I do not remember that being the case. So this project is in conjunction with the Japanese team, and I heard rumors that they were also doing some sort of scanning, laser scanning of the structure. So, as you saw in my episode on the pyramid, well rather the solar temple at Abu Ghraib, you can do laser scanning and photogrammetry of a site to obtain a digital recreation and reassemble the structure digitally. So that was my first thought is that they're digitally scanning the outside of the pyramid and the remaining blocks to be able to put these pieces back in their original place. But of course, I also suspect ulterior motives for the project that they're most likely scanning the inside of the pyramid. I mean, why not? If you're scanning all the rest of it, you know, utilize the tools at hand and get a thorough scan because inside of this pyramid, I've shown in previous episodes, there's a core 
there's a core structure inside of the expanded exterior. And to be able to get imaging of that would certainly be a remarkable project. So now we're going to... You want to go see the temple? Let's do it. It'll be... Careful. Here, around this way. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go film for Alexis channel for a bit. Again, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to Ancient Odysseys here on YouTube. Lots of kind of behind the scenes footage from all of our expeditions that way, that way. across Egypt, England, Ireland, and all across the world. I want to be on Ancient Odysseys. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned, we'll be back and we're going to take a journey inside the structure here in just a moment. Well done, babe. They've really made some serious progress. It's okay, but fish mushkela, no problem. Welcome back. We'll have to look at some of the four photos. The pit there? They have been working over here. Okay. They have been working over here. So any of you that have been following along on the channel, so this scaffold is new. a picture of the crane because there is a photo that shows the crane on the northern side that they've used to move some of these blocks but uh we ain't moving any blocks on that flimsy scaffold so what the hell is this thing for interesting to hear what you guys think leave some comments and let me know what you think about this reconstruction project here at the pyramid of menkara do you think it's a good idea do you think it's a good use of taxpayer time and money not that i don't know if they pay taxes here but certainly government funds and government efforts and to reassemble the casing stone here at the Pyramid of Menkara. A very hot topic and certainly a controversial one in the archaeological community. And I'll see if I can find some of the news reports and um, commentary that I've seen recently on social media about this project. And walk over here.
Ascension Tour. We have private special permission access into all three chambers of the Great Pyramid. No other tourists, and all of the locked gates will be open. I can guarantee you it will be an experience of a lifetime, not to mention our special permission access to the three pyramids of Abu Sir, where we'll investigate that red granite or red quartzite collection bowl and the dual layer container found in the temple of Ptah Hotep. Maybe Ptah Shepsis, one of the two. beautiful out here today. This is so cool. <laughs> to erosion patterns here.
at that. of basalt here. I was getting in with a mouthful of food. I've never seen Gotta this give before. credit where credit's due. Absolutely. <clears throat> the first time in all of my times, five years coming up to the Giza Plateau. So, first time I've ever seen a person picking up trash. So they have an employee or a plateau worker going around picking up trash. Thank God, finally, oh, something that is a good use of government funds. It's a good sign. If you give a little back sheesh.
Shukran Kazita. Shukran, thank you. Shukran. So I've never seen that before, this paving slab here. And it's a mud brick. So, okay, perfect example of contrast between and applications of different materials. Okay, here, this is limestone blocks. This is all, I believe, andesite. I don't think it's diorite. I think that's andesite. But this, look at look at how different this is. Look at this it looks material. like concrete. It looks like concrete. So work smarter, not harder. Certain materials for different applications. That doesn't look like. Look at the difference between the limestone here, and this is natural plateau limestone. All sorts of inclusions and irregularities in the material. But then you look that's at something gorgeous. like this that's uh, very similar to what we saw on the other side, that facade piece. Now, I don't think this is modern because it continues. Here's just a really eroded piece of it. You don't know how much I'm going to do. You're right. Money? Uh, 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 uh. Are you going to crawl through the threshold? No, because it's most likely a hamel. But I'm just showing you that that's, that was an original part of whatever was going on here. What else lies beneath the sand?
smells like piss in here. Mama, I'm 
inside looks like. Now over here, in this corner, there's a shaft that leads out of this vacant cavity. And this detail supports my initial interpretation of the function of this chamber, which I will be getting to soon. Everything about these structures is intentional in terms of the construction. <coughs> and to have this vacant cavity around the lower chamber doesn't really make any sense in terms of a construction perspective. But it certainly does when you look at it from the perspective of chemistry and what I think was going on in the lower chamber. So you can see there in that back corner, back behind here, there's a there's what looks to be a shaft or a passageway leading out to the west of the chamber. Um, so it's gotten much quieter in here. Um, we're going to take a look. One thing I also noticed when I was looking in this hole here, so there's a bilateral set of holes, bilateral leading on both sides of the chamber here and here. And there's a bunch of iron oxide. See this orange stuff? It's orange material here. And here, a bunch of iron oxide. And again, here's another bilateral housing. You can see the hole here and the one on the other side, which is here. And so this, as explained previously, is the original inlet to the chamber system. So this shaft goes to the exterior of the core here, but not to the exterior of the case finished pyramid. As we were saying on the outside of the structure, there's, there's two layers. There's an internal pyramid, and then the structure was later expanded. So now we're inside the lower, the lower chamber. So this is the inside of the vaulted A-frame chamber that we saw looking in from the top. So that passage would be in this direction on the western side. I'm going to put the cavity surrounding this chamber. Pressure from above on this chain. 
converging into this area here. So my question channels that 
are converging into a very specific area. Is there an inlet shaft down below here? So I just showed evidence that there's a, a shaft leading in from the western side of the Pyramid of Menkara into the area surrounding the chamber. So there was an excavation here. There was some something going on here. Just out of curiosity, we're going to take a walk here. I see that. Yeah. Let's go walk towards that way. Look at this basin. bedrock so whatever this is goes down into the bedrock it's not just like a free piece that you could lift lift up and move this is set in place here
never been back here before. If we walk this way, I can show you the Kelsey quarry. If you want to help support our adventures, please like, share, subscribe, and pick up some badass Ancient Odysseys merch. The link is in the video description below. Also, please subscribe to our two new channels, Egyptian Trash Cats, where we document our saga in caring for the street cats of Egypt, and Egypt Eats, for all of our crazy culinary adventures. Thank you all very much. I will say walking through sand is a pain in the ass. So from here, this is Gebel Ghibli that I showed in the episode regarding the tomb of the birds, which is another outcrop of bedrock that's associated with ancient mining. Look at that. Pretty badass. And I don't know if this thing is modern or ancient or what. Uh, I would say it feels like we're definitely on top of a structure. the hell they build this thing up here what was up here originally okay so here is the visitor center under which the tomb of the birds is located so I think that's probably maybe our next stop Yeah, my question is, what the hell is up here? A nice little rod of metal up here, anchored into the ground. And this thing, what the hell is this for? 
was here originally that they covered up this inside of this brick. Absolutely pointless. You know, we're on top of a mound. Why the hell did they build this thing up here? I guarantee you this thing is hollow. And there's something inside there or below there. Pyramid complex. Here in front of us, one, two, and three. This is G, three, A, B, and C. The three satellites on the south side of the Pyramid of Menkara. Menkara here, central pyramid there. And from this vantage point, you cannot see the Great Pyramid. to be able to get some deep breaths of fresh air up here. Fresh air, not something you get all the time in Egypt. Awesome. Feels good. All right. Let's go to the next spot. Welcome to Egypt. <laughs> Looks like an opening on that side. G3. B. Probably won't 
see anywhere else. Final pyramid. Central pyramid. And great pyramid. From the southeastern corner. this. Central Pyramid Eastern Temple. And this area is referred to as a calcite quarry. This is not a quarry, this is the remains of a structure that has since been quarried. been made from calcite crystal. All of these fragments here are of white calcite crystal.
my knowledge, there's really only one other place. So here, ooh, look at these fragments here. This is gorgeous. We've got three-dimensional cubic pattern. Oh, babe, here's a pillar. a plateau with this calcite material. These are some huge blocks, so whatever was over here was a fairly large structure. And Lex was just pointing out the Look at this. It's not a quarry. It's definitely been it's big, utilized. It's big, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but not, not originally a quarry. And, uh, and none of this material is so sourced locally.
wow. We're approaching Kankawas. The cemetery built in a very curious spot. And the site keeper is down there. So this is the entry into this structure. And there's a sub you see this is all blocked off here, those modern blocks. The Asita project got down inside here. And this structure via a subterranean channel or tunnel system that leads from the upper part of the Giza Plateau down into this direction. And then we have here on the southern side the Pyramid of Kentucky. And I've been in here before and we'll see if we can just walk over this way. Shukran. Welcome. Shukran. How you do? Ken Kawes. Ken Kawes. Yeah. Ana Bruhina Al Causeway. Okay. Okay, so I'm Shukran. Shukran.
peanuts. Here is where one of these channels comes through. And it's been blocked with the granite plug. Oh, you're right. In there. So this is a channel that comes up and there's two more that go down from here and here into this pit. Doctor. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then that's the opening to the subterranean area over here. And look up top.
plateau today. Thank you all so much. Stay tuned for more exclusive content. You're not going to see this anywhere else. The reconstruction of the Pyramid of Menkara. The first documentation coming from the source live in Egypt. The Crystal Temple on the southeastern corner of the Pyramid of Menkara. And down here, at the Pyramid of Kenkawes. And we'll get some more footage on the way back up. Please subscribe, stay tuned. See you next time. This is so cool. See the iron outside over there? Alas, Shokran Sadiqi, thank you so much. Shokran. This is a perplexing structure. <laughs> That's a pretty steep drop off. And if I went down in there, there's nowhere to get back up. I can help. Okay. All right. Can I see?
the rain's going down. I got I need a new battery too. What's this? Huh? Have you looked in there? It's just another big shot. We're going straight down. There's a sphinx. Look at all those shafts. So Sarah should. Hey, hey buddy. Hey. Handsome boy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. If you want to help support our adventures, please like, share, subscribe, and pick up some badass Ancient Odysseys merch. The link is in the video description below. Also, please subscribe to our two new channels, Egyptian Trash Cats, where we document our saga in caring for the street cats of Egypt, and Egypt Eats, for all of our crazy culinary adventures. Thank you all very much.